Okay, so um, continue. This one talks about the end behavior. And so what you want to look for is um, all the odd ones. They usually uh, start down here and finish going up like this. But uh, that's when the leading coefficient, the a value, is positive. So this one actually has a negative a value. Um, it happens to be negative 2. So what that's saying is it actually reflects the graph um, over the x-axis. So now, instead of going down, it's actually going to come up and then uh, finish going down. But we're going to describe um, the end behavior of this using um, function notation. We're going to say as x goes towards positive infinity, f of x goes towards um, negative infinity. So I'm describing this one's end behavior. Well, this one, um, x is actually going towards the left, so I'm going to say as x goes towards negative infinity, f of x is going upwards. f of x is going to positive infinity. Okay, so this next one, part b, if I'm looking at part b, the degree of this polynomial is a fourth degree. It's an even um, degree polynomial. So all evens, if the leading coefficient, the a value, happens to be positive, um, they're going to both finish in the uh, same direction. They may wiggle and turn in here, but they're going to finish in the same direction. Um, and this is when a is positive. When the a value is negative, um, they're going to finish in the same direction, but they're going to go down. So for this example, the a value happens to be 2, which is positive. So how I'm going to describe this is I'm going to say they're going to finish both going uh, well, actually, they're both going to, the left side's going to go up, the right side's going to go up. So I'm going to describe this piece up here. And I'm going to say, as x goes to positive infinity, describing this one, um, f of x is going to positive infinity. As x goes to negative infinity, as x goes to the left, f of x goes also to positive infinity. Okay, the back side, the last thing that we did was um, graphing cubic equations. So the first thing I want you guys to do is to rewrite this equation d of x. It's saying d of x is made from c of x, c of negative x minus 3. This notation means I'm going to plug in a negative x into the c of x equation. So the d of x equation looks like this. And then I want to describe the transformation. So that negative here, what it's saying is um, we're going to reflect about the y-axis. And then this is just a shift, a move down 3. Um, how does it affect my reference points? Well, the negative is a reflect about the y-axis. When you reflect about the y-axis, you're going to have to multiply um, the x-coordinates by negative 1. Um, for the shift down, you're going to subtract 3 from um, y coordinates. So here's my three new um, points. 0 times negative 1 is 0. 1 times negative 1. 2 times negative 1. 8 minus 3 is 5. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And then 0 minus 3 is there. So when you go to graph, you can graph these reference points, or you can just graph by your transformation up here. So let's just practice graphing by transformation. The first transformation I'm going to do is reflected about the y-axis. So all these points, here's the y-axis. All these points over here will get flipped over here, and then all these points will get flipped over there. So this point now lands here, reflecting that. This point lands here. This point goes over here. The origin stays where it's at. This is two units away from that reflection line. It's two units over here. So this is like the intermedia. This isn't your final graph, but it is the first transformation reflecting about the y-axis. Um, what you want to do next is you want to um, shift it down three. So all these points that you did have here, you got to shift it down three. Watch out, our axes are actually going up by two, four, uh, 6, 8. So we'll have to just count 3 carefully down. So like half of these increments are 1. So 1, 2, 3. That point lands there. This point goes 1, 2, 3. Lands there. This point goes 1, 2, 3. Lands there. Um, 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 
3, and it lands there. So then try to get the same curve as that uh, line that I, the intermediate one. Uh, try to do the best you can to get that curve. And then, and then there's your graph. So that's it.